Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Lang of uh, the Lang Eye Institute and Fortify Vitamins, uh, here with Dr. Karen Heck from Asteria. That's right. And we're going to talk a little bit about astaxanthin that I've been using clinically uh, via a supplement I developed called Fortify Focus oh, for the last six, seven years now with really some, some positive impact in my eye care centers. These nutrients that are in our Fortify Focus product have lutein, zeaxanthin, and astaxanthin. So that's a triple carotenoid effect. And when you think about it, it's got all the carotenoids in the eye. The astaxanthin is in the front part of the eye and the lutein and zeaxanthin is in the back part in the retina. So it kind of works synergistically together and we've been seeing some positive uh, impact clinically with our patients subjectively and objectively. And you know I'm all about helping patients naturally. Certainly at the Lang Eye Institute we do things medically, surgically, optically but we're big into nutrition. So um, we're going to talk with Dr. Karen Heck. Uh, she's one of the leading authorities on astaxanthin. And give us a little input. Actually, what is astaxanthin? Great. So astaxanthin is a natural nutrient that's found in our foods. Mostly, it's found in seafoods. And especially, the best source is salmon, wild salmon. Uh, they take it up naturally um, up the food chain from algae through krill up to the salmon. It accumulates in their muscles. It gives them that nice red color, and that's because astaxanthin is a natural carotenoid. It's related to other carotenoids you may have heard of before, such as beta carotene, which is what gives carrots that orange color, and lycopene, which is what gives tomatoes that reddish color as well. And so, we've talked about astaxanthin on our radio show. We're in a radio studio here right now. Uh, we just co-hosted a show called Ask the Doctor. It was a great show. Thanks for being on. And I've been talking about uh, Fortify Focus, the supplement with astaxanthin, lutein, and zeaxanthin for many years. I guess I have thousands of patients taking it. And that's exciting. It really is. Being able to have some nutrients that may benefit the visual system, uh, may eliminate accommodative strain, accommodative stress, may help with inflammation and oxidation in the eye. It's really exciting. But, you know, I'm all about helping the entire body. And I was quite athletic when I was younger, uh, competitive motocross, now I'm a competitive uh, SCCA road racer, at racing cars. But I think more exciting than even the eye aspect is the whole impact that astaxanthin may have on overall health, especially muscles. And we're always looking for some way to slow down the aging process in our body, all right? We wanna be youthful for as long as we can, right? And I see patients that are 70s, 80s. I mean, my dad's almost 90. He still bikes every day. My mom plays tennis at 90. They're both taking our Fortify Focus. My dad takes two a day, my mom takes one a day. So the exciting part with astaxanthin now is it may be beneficial for muscle recovery and muscle endurance. And, you know, I developed a, a protein called Fortify Super Protein uh, so that my patients, especially my elderly patients, could have a good source of protein. They can make a smoothie in the morning and they could consume this and get a good source of protein because quite frankly, they're not getting protein. With that being said, if we had something we could add to the protein that would benefit our patients with muscle recovery, muscle endurance, athletic performance for all age groups. So I want you to expand because you're more of an expert than me on the whole idea of astaxanthin helping us in these aspects. Yes, so it's interesting because the mechanism of astaxanthin in the eye and for athletic performance are actually linked because astaxanthin targets mitochondria and protects them, especially during energy production. And that's how we can understand why astaxanthin helps the ciliary muscles at the front of the eye, which are mitochondria rich and work very hard when we're looking at near objects, they're contracted and those mitochondria are pumping out energy and they're also pumping out reactive oxygen species as a byproduct, which are damaging to the mitochondria and to the muscle, and they're part of what contributes to that eye fatigue or muscle fatigue in general. And so that's why when we talk about astaxanthin benefiting the muscles of the eye, we can also talk about astaxanthin benefiting muscles in general all over the body, which are also very mitochondria rich. And so there's two areas where astaxanthin functions, during exercise and after exercise. During exercise, those muscles are hard at work, the mitochondria are pumping, and the free radicals are being produced. So astaxanthin can neutralize 
neutralize those free radicals, help protect the mitochondria from being damaged, and that helps us retain that efficient energy production, which is called aerobic respiration. Basically, most of the oxygen we breathe in actually goes into the mitochondria to be used to produce energy. Mitochondria are engines, they take fuel and oxygen and turn it into energy, but no engine is 100% efficient. And so we do have this byproduct, which is the inefficiency producing free radicals that can cause damage. If we can keep those mitochondria working for longer, we can improve our endurance, and that's what astaxanthin does during exercise. Now, after exercise, what happens is you've worked hard, you've torn those muscles a little bit, which is natural what happens during exercise, especially during unaccustomed exercise. Maybe you haven't been exercising in a while, there's a little bit of disuse. Well, in that case, you're gonna have a little bit more muscle microtrauma, and that recruits white blood cells for the recovery process. They're gonna clean out that damaged muscle tissue and work really hard themselves, and in their metabolic activity, their mitochondria are also producing free radical byproducts. These also trigger some uh, inflammation. Those white blood cells are also secreting inflammatory signals, and that's what causes that delayed onset muscle soreness or that two-day soreness. You know, you exercise and then two days later you can hardly stand, you can't squat, everything hurts. Well, astaxanthin is there poised in those muscles even after exercise to neutralize those free radicals and relieve that soreness so you can get back to your exercise routine sooner. Um, one more thing that you mentioned, which is really important, uh, it gets tougher when you're older, and there's a few reasons for that. Maybe we don't absorb protein as well as we once did, and we need more protein in our diet. Reduced blood flow in general, um, as well as a reduced antioxidant capacity in older individuals. You're not making as many antioxidants as you once were, so supplementing with astaxanthin can help boost that function of your body and protect your muscles from disuse and from damage from free radicals. Astaxanthin has also been shown to improve blood flow and circulation and coupled together with protein, of course, it helps to build muscle and, and together with exercise, we see better results. Right, and that's an exciting area. I mean, I see many of my patients that are athletes that are taking the Fortify Focus and most of these uh, guys and gals are taking two of the Fortify Focus a day, so they're getting 12 milligrams of astaxanthin. And they have been on this product and they do subjectively give me a lot of good feedback how you know after an Ironman after a marathon they're usually they can barely walk you know the next day and they're feeling a lot better also some of my marathon runners they actually have better times they're getting older but they have better times and so muscle endurance muscle recovery it makes sense I mean we hear all about creatine we hear about branch chain amino acids and different types of proteins but nobody's talking about astaxanthin right now I mean this could really be the next big uh, nutrient for for sports mm -hmm. so it's that's an exciting area diverging a little bit talking about the whole near point of accommodation I'm 56 years old years of age I can read 0.37 in print earlier in my uh, early 50s I had to put reading glasses on to see up close and that's one of the things that sold me on astaxanthin uh, no accommodated fatigue on the computer but being able to see my cell phone when it rings uh, the back of medicine bottles and things of this nature and not having to put glasses on to see my patients and work in the slit lamp and the computer has really been a godsend. So it does work. And that's why I, you know, I endorse astaxanthin, the Fortify Focus pill. Yeah, and you know, the great thing is, is that astaxanthin is really is backed by science. We have over 60 human clinical studies that support some of these uh, personal experiences that you've had in the case studies that we hear from the callers on your radio show. And the interesting thing is that in your Fortify Focus, you already have your six milligrams of astaxanthin. And that's what has been shown through the studies to benefit the eye but that's also a dosage that benefits muscles in general. Four to six milligrams a day really does help improve muscle performance, endurance, and recovery. The whole uh, circulatory improvement in the choroid uh, is what really fascinates me for our macular degeneration patients. It's possible that when we increase that uh, blood flow and the circulation under the retina, it could have a flushing effect and help get rid of these unwanted uh, impurities that could be aggravating macular degeneration. Mm -hmm. 
So when we talk about cellular respiration, we talk about mitochondria, does astaxanthin actually help with ATP production? Well, we do have uh, one preclinical study, uh, so not in humans, that has shown increased ATP production. Mm. These preclinical studies help us to understand the mechanism that astaxanthin may be using in humans and the other really great study, also preclinical, showed that astaxanthin protects a transporter in the mitochondrial membrane that helps to bring in fats as a fuel source for mitochondria. And the reason that's exciting and significant is because Fat produces about six times more energy compared to the same weight of sugar, which is the other preferred energy source for mitochondria. So if we can protect those fat transporters in the mitochondria, then we can prolong the use of fat as a mitochondrial fuel and boost that endurance even further. Now, I also own a company and do a lot of research in, in paleo and the paleo diet. I have a company called Paleo Simplified. We make paleo oat-free granola, we make paleo bars, and I've been thinking about starting to utilize astaxanthin and maybe some of the bars. We use goji berries due to the zeaxanthin that is in goji berries and the potent antioxidant. But the question is, would astaxanthin be considered paleo? Is it paleo certified? In fact, it is. Astaxanthin is certified by the Paleo Foundation. Um, our Astoreal Astaxanthin is the mm -hmm. only brand of natural astaxanthin that is Paleo certified. And if you're thinking about a more professional uh, athletes and their use of astaxanthin, we are also informed sport and informed choice, which means our astaxanthin is banned substance tested and safe to use for athletes. So that's another unique feature of Astoreal astaxanthin. Well, I was just at a nutritional conference in Washington, D.C. not too long ago, and one of the keynote speakers was up there talking about astaxanthin and there was only, I think, two astaxanthins that he even recommended because uh, the other astaxanthins were contaminated. Mm -hmm. So the process that you uh, guys do in producing your astaxanthin it keeps it the cleanest, the purest, and what I call the gold standard astoreal astaxanthin in the industry. Yes, and we have an NSF GMP facility in Moses Lake, Washington. All of our algae are grown indoors in a closed photoboreactor, and that means that we're able to filter the air. We're filtering all the air pollutants that otherwise algae would be exposed to in an outdoor environment, which is the most common way of growing uh, these algae for, that produce astaxanthin naturally. So by reducing air contaminants from the air, also by timing the harvest so that we get the most mature red algae containing the greatest amount of astaxanthin and no chlorophyll, we can actually ensure better stability of our astoreal astaxanthin, which helps basically produce the best quality astaxanthin on the market. And we can back it up because we actually are the only USP certified astaxanthin material on the market. And we helped to actually establish the USP monograph that sets the quality standard for astaxanthin on the market today. We've been at it the longest, 30 years of uh, basically establishing, pioneering this mm -hmm. area and doing research for even longer since the 80s. We have over 60 clinical studies that help to support this nutrient uh, for human health. The other thing is we want to always develop supplements that cause no harm, create no harm. And there's other carotenoids uh, that actually block the absorption of xanthophils. Mm -hmm. But the studies that you've been engaged in and other studies prove that astaxanthin, lutein, and zeaxanthin really work in harmony together and don't have any competitive inhibition or any blocking properties, do they? That's right. So all of these carotenoids get absorbed in the gut and sometimes that means they can be in competition. However, studies have shown that the combination of lutein, zeaxanthin, and astaxanthin do not compete. So you can get the benefits of all three for the back of the eye and the front of the eye, and in the case of astaxanthin, in all muscle tissues without compromising any of the benefits. And that's what I want for my patients. That's what I want for four to five vitamins. It's great that it's grown and produced here in America and it's contaminant free. Astoreal astaxanthin is the only astaxanthin that Fortify is going to use. I think of my patients and my customers as family. What I give my family, what I give myself is what I want them to have. So. You know, I want to thank you. I want to thank Astoreal for coming out with such an amazing product. Uh, what an amazing nutrient. Astaxanthin, not only good for the eye, good for the entire body. 
what more can I say? Well, I mean, <laughs> you have a really unique product out there already, Dr. Lang. I mean, I'm still amazed. You're the only one who has lutein, zeaxanthin, and astaxanthin, a complete carotenoid formula for the eye in your Fortify Focus. And I think that you're gonna have another really unique combination in this protein astaxanthin that we're gonna be seeing, I think, a lot more in the future because of its efficacy. Fantastic. <laughs> That's what I like about Astoreal Astaxanthin and Fortify Focus. All right, thanks for being a guest on the radio show. Thanks for this little interview. My um, pleasure, and thank you very much for inviting me back. And I look right. forward to maybe another occasion. Very soon, very yeah. soon. That'll be great. All right.